friends, um, I'm back again to show you the Love 41 satchel purse. And right now I have it in backpack mode because I want to start the video here and then move on to the review. So, I'm 5'5", five five and I think it's a nice way to carry your bag if it's like an all-day trip, you know, around the zoo or something like that. And you know, I, I took off the bag just now, and this kind of ran through the ring really quickly. And if I were to put it in backpack mode, I might tie a knot with the strap. But let's just start going in. And, the, and the, if you tie the knot, it might keep the straps from moving so quickly when you take it off. Okay, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. This bag arrived yesterday, and so today I was getting ready to put together a video and try some different things. And I'm excited to show you more about this bag. I'm going to quick take it out of backpack mode. I should show you this. Okay. Long strap, which is great. Very long strap, and I think they made it so long so you could put it in backpack mode. Um, you would clasp one clasp here, run it through here, and clasp here, and then it's backpack. Um, and I'll put it back to crossbody. They sent this with the packaging. I posted a picture on Instagram uh, of the packaging. It was beautiful. It was in a burlap sack tied with straw, and they give you... Um, Love 41 uh, piece of leather. This is actually, I think, the new tobacco from Saddleback. Uh, so I just put a little, what do you call this, a key ring on it. I just kept it on the bag. And I'm going to put it in crossbody. Stay with me, I'm going to shorten the strap and I'll model what crossbody looks like. I forget which one I had it on. Pretty good height. Okay, here we go. We're gonna M55, and this is in crossbody. You know, the strap's really comfortable, the buckle's not on my shoulder. It's sometimes an issue with some of the bags. Do -do -do. Anyway, I think all the modeling parts are over. Oh, wait, let's do shoulder bag. This is a little long for shoulder, but you can see what it looks like. This top handle, I keep grabbing it. It is the best addition to Love 41 bags. Um, and then talking about the strap a little more, you will see that Suzette, hi Suzette, she added this extra loop to catch extra strap which I thought was really nice. You can see. So it's not just flying around, but actually I would prefer if this was just a little bit closer because I was trying crossbody earlier today and I just missed this by a hair. And anyway, so that could be moved up just a tad, like one or two inches, that'd be great. Okay, so we have the satchel purse. This is the color tobacco. It doesn't come in any other uh, colors of leather currently, but it's two-toned, which I think is really neat. Um, and the, the color is here, that's a two-tone, and then up in the handle. And then everywhere else, it's the tobacco color. And Love 41, uh, Suzette mentioned this on her awesome review, good job. Just the simplicity of the, the flap, I think that's just so charming. I freaked out when I saw that this was um, their new design and uh, wiggled some money around and was able to purchase it. Um, okay, so I have some notes here, things that I love, some thoughts, and improvements. Uh, and I would love to start with actually what's inside my bag. So you have an idea of what you can put in this bag for everyday carry. And you know my videos, they're long, so bear with me. Oh, I went through that really quick. This is how you open and close the bag. There's a D-ring in the flap. 
So the D ring goes through the main flap and the strap feeds through. So if you were walking in the city and somebody wanted to get in your bag, they cannot. Do you see this? No. There's no way they're going to get in. If they were smart, they would go like this, and by then you would probably notice and kibosh that. Okay, and we're in. And you see these D-rings? Pretty cool. This is what you'll see on the Coral Hall bag from Love 41, and I've done a review on that. I'll leave a link below. And this is how much you can fit um, inside the bag. I think you can see light okay. I am going to show you a couple different varieties of things you can put in this bag because you never know what you at home actually use in a bag. So today we have sunglasses case, pretty standard, long trifold wallet from Saddleback Leather in tobacco. You can actually see, do you notice these colors, how they're different? We'll get into that in a little bit too. We have two moleskin. These are um, not in cases, they're just raw. This is a Ujarami, I maybe I'm saying that wrong, but this is also from Love 41 and it's just a great thing. I keep my keys for my house on it and just a lot of random things, um, an assortment of items that I don't like leaving the house without, you know, tissues, hand, sanit hand sanitizer, all that. And then this is iPad. This is the iPad 1, 16 gig. And this does not have a sleeve or anything on it, just the smart cover. I wanted to show you though, so you know beforehand, it's kind of a tight fit. So I put it in diagonal and then I push it forward. And this may get looser in time, but when you first buy it, just know your iPad fits just snug. Um, so that's one option, and then I didn't put my phone in here because I'm using it to record, but the phone would go in the back here. And it would bulge, I'm sure, but uh, I think this leather is going to stretch a bit. Hopefully. I love vintage leather with the patina. Um, so, okay, keep moving. So all those same things will fit with the iPad mini as well. And uh, this is the iPad mini case. I could load it all back up and show you again, but I was playing with this all morning. I had so many different variations of things putting in and out because I just want to make sure at home, you at home know what can fit in this bag. And um, what I just showed you is basically the exact same thing for the iPad mini. And maybe you would remove a moleskin because this is a thicker case. This is Saddleback. This is... um. The sister company of Love 41 and this is the dark coffee brown uh, iPad mini case. I thought this is a pretty cool buy. Okay, now I want to show you just one more option for loading it up and these are all like the smaller versions of things. Um, not all of us use a large wallet like this so let me load it up. We have iPad mini in uh, just a smart cover, and um, I don't own two iPad minis. This is an empty case, and there's <laughs> the iPad mini. Okay, so the iPad mini can fit in really snug. A smaller version of the moleskin. This is another pouch similar to the Ujarami, but it's a little bit more flexible. If you notice, this bulge, this button, or a turn knob. Uh, add some dimension to the bag, so you can put that in there. This is a fossil wallet that I like. It's um, just a bifold, billfold, and um, it's smaller. I use it when I have smaller bags. And then uh, what else do I want from here? Sunglasses and uh, oh, a water bottle. I wanted to show you. A, I think this is a 14 ounce Nalgene. So. And the sunglasses, and you could maybe put your sunglass, uh, your maybe winter gloves on top of all of this. But can you see all that in there? 
And then again, the phone in the back. Uh, so maybe that's helpful. Leave me lots of questions on the bottom of this video. Um, in my other reviews, people have done that. And it's been, it's fun, you know? You get to be helpful, and sometimes they want extra pictures, and I send them to my Instagram feed. My Instagram's the same as my handle on YouTube, the DJH2000. And I post a lot of, lot of leather bags there. It's insane. Okay, let's move on, Danae. <laughs> um, so let's talk about the things I love. I'm crazy about this handle. I have right here my large hobo from Saddleback, and in a video I show you how to create this handle on top using their strap. And that's great. That's fine. It's been working out perfect. Not a flaw to it. I've had this maybe a year now. Um, but the fact that it intentionally has a handle, I think that's a home run. All right. I love the color. I'm a huge tobacco color fan, if you can tell. And I think this might be showing up in the camera. This is the new tobacco color from Saddleback. See how it makes it really bright when you squeeze it? The oils come to the front, but anyway, that's a new dark tobacco. This was their classic tobacco that everybody was used to, along with this. And this is Love 41's tobacco. The color is actually interesting because there's not a shine, a sheen to it, but it's it's harder plastic. I feel like it's more similar to the leather on their clutch here. It's it's not velvety. You know, you can kind of play with the highs and lows of this. Hopefully that's coming through. It doesn't have that. And I'm interested to see how this patina is. I don't think I object at all to the color. It's just a different texture than their other um, leathers. Like the Koroha leather. I don't have that bag anymore. That's a different story. It's still a great bag and I really missed it. I just had to return it for uh, the funds. But anyway, uh, that Koroha leather has this more velvety thing, and this one does not. I'm crazy about this two-toned. I think that's a really smart design. Um, okay, enough space for around the town. I wouldn't say this is a bag that I'm going to has, have as my carry-on um, on a long trip. Maybe if I'm going back home to Michigan, for a weekend, I would take this, but if I'm going to Europe for two weeks, I might be more sensible about how big my carry-on is, um, just so you can have extra snacks and water bottles and all that. But um, by the way, the dimensions of this are nine or ten wide, nine and a fourth tall by four and three fourths deep, and it weighs two pounds. And I wanted to compare that to the hobo, which is uh, ten and three fourths wide. So 10, 10 and 3 fourths, 10, 9 and 1 fourth. Are you following me here? And then uh, the depth is 4 and a half, and the depth here. I keep stepping on the strap. 4 and 3 fourths step, 4 and 1 half. So, kind of doing double duty for size here. The textures are a lot different between these two. Um, and I really like the look of both, so we might have a problem on my hands if I'm only going to keep one. Maybe I can keep both. I'll talk to my husband. Okay. Uh, the closure is really easy. Um, I'll show you. Jump up here. Okay, we're going to do this one-handed. Huh? That's pretty good. And then closing... One-handed, can she do it? Oh, I want my other hand over here. This all could become a lot easier when things are softer and more well-loved. All right. Um, I'm crazy about the backpack option. These are all the things I love still. I think the design is amazing. The quality of the leather is phenomenal. Can you see how thick this is? You know, full piece sewn to a full piece and then there's a pocket inside it just gets so thick here's only two pieces or maybe three still there 
but this is full grain leather, vegetable tanned, and Suzette was telling us on her video that oil and water are going to be soaked up and make a patina to this, which I'm all for. I don't necessarily like perfect purses. Um, I don't know if my wall of purses over there is showing up in the camera, but I like it when you can scratch it and you see the scar. I, I, I like that, but be warned. And then I love the Love 41 tag that they sent with my purchase. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. And remember, have you ever seen Leather Satchel Company? That's a company that makes these leather satchels, and they're very charming and cute. I've never owned one in person, but I've seen them in stores. And this leather reminds me of that. It reminds me of just a little bit of a, maybe a harder leather. Um, and uh, that's just one way you can think about what texture of leather this is, if you have ever seen a leather satchel company satchel bag. And then, okay, done, done, and now improvements. I have some thoughts. Okay, putting in my iPad into the space was kind of tight. Do you remember this? And if you have a sleeve or if you have, like, this, the Saddleback Leathers version of this, it might be pretty tight. Uh, so maybe just, like, half inch wider uh, would probably help that out. Um, I'd almost be interested if this design was in this quality of leather. Um, or not, excuse me, not quality leather. They're both quality, but type of leather. Um, this is just my tobacco that I've had for a year now, and you can see the patina. I wonder how this will patina, but they started off very much different types of leather. So, these are similar, not so similar. That's just more for my curiosity to see what that would look like or even the leather for the Koroha uh, I wonder how that would be I wonder if it would sag a lot more but this is much more of a structured bag harder leather um, maybe a tad bit wider I like these proportions but just a little bit more I was always just half an inch from adding a couple more things and I was like I just need that half more inch this way um, and then I mentioned the loop on the strap from earlier that this this loop just be in a little bit more to catch the extra strap and it doesn't really stand on its own when empty watch it does it on camera of course um, it's just a little bit wobbly you know my hobo really this is empty right now you cannot knock that bad boy over but I guess their bottoms are a lot different too and look at that we did everything uh please be sure to leave me comments below about questions you may have um i own a lot of saddleback products or i've tried a lot of them and i buy and i sell and i return them and i just like helping you guys out with questions because uh there's not a lot of videos out obviously i think this i might be the second to put a video out suzette's the first and then me on this one and this back here is the simple backpack. Uh, comment below if you want to see a video on this. And also, let me think. Well, you'll be surprised, but this is a Dooney and Burke. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Small satchel. So comment below if you want to see this bag. I know it's not it's not saddlebag, it's not Love 41, but it's a little more formal. I uh, switched something on this bag. Some Dooney Burke girls out there will know what I'm talking about. But comment below if you want to see this. And yeah, I am thankful for all the views I get on these. It's so much fun. Have a great weekend. Bye.